here and today we're going to do a summer hacks video. I received so many requests on my channel this past month for a summer hacks video and I am so happy you guys did because because summer is my favorite season of all. I know a lot of you can say the same. Summer is the ish, okay? Summer is my favorite in the world. So I just want to know which season is your favorite season. And by the way, I just want to give a shout out to all those who requested this video. Thank you guys so much. If you guys have any video requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below and also if you enjoyed watching this video and think I should do another summer video make sure to leave a thumbs up and one last thing if you want you can go on ahead and follow my Instagram because if you follow my Instagram and comment on my latest photo I will spam your account just make sure that your profile is not on private and I'll go on ahead and do that so yeah guys I think it's about that time here are some summer hacks that will save your life let's go so first hack, here's a really cool idea for a bomb summer party. How to make a DIY s'more station out of a terracotta pot. And if you don't have one at home, they're only a dollar at Walmart. So you're just gonna line the pot with aluminum foil. And then add in the charcoal, which you probably already have at home. Finally, light up the charcoal and wait till you see some flames going on and there you have it! A really cute mini s'more station to spend a bomb summer night eating s'mores with your friends. No camping or bonfire required, just a pot. And the cleanup is super easy, you just throw away the aluminum foil and call it a day. So yeah, definitely a cool idea to make your summer s'more fun. <laughs> Get it? Because I just said s'more, because more s'more. Okay, never mind. Next hack, so you want to create your own henna tattoo to flaunt at the beach this summer, but you have the clumsiest hands in the world and you can't draw with henna to save your life. Well, you could totally use a stencil to make it easier. So if you have stencils at home, great. But if you don't, I bought these from Joanne's craft store for a dollar. So what you want to do is cut out the stencil and then spray Stronghold hairspray to the back to make it a little bit sticky and easy to cling onto your skin. Then put the stencil wherever you want your henna design. And of course, you will need henna paste, which I bought from the local Indian store for $2. So you're simply just going to fill in the holes. Feel free to be messy. It doesn't matter since the stencil will block it out. Once you're done, take the stencil off and you will have an effortless henna design. It's super easy. And by the way, mine's came out a little bit messy because I did it in a hurry. But if you take your time, it will come out gorgeous. So yeah, guys, definitely give it a try. So you know how your shoes can get a bit sweaty and damp after a long crazy workout, especially in that hot summer sun? The sweat literally gets trapped within, causing it to possibly smell later. So a way to avoid this from happening to your favorite shoes, just crumble up some newspapers and slide it into your shoes. The newspaper will absorb the moisture pretty quickly, which allows your shoes to dry out. It's a super quick and effective odor eater, so no more potential smells. Next hack, protect yourself from those annoying mosquito bites this summer with this simple trick. So did you know that laundry dryer sheets can help keep bugs away? It's been proven that they can act as an insect repellent. They analyzed the chemicals found in dryer sheets and found two substances that keep bugs away and repels mosquitoes. So next time, make sure to add some dryer sheets to your laundry to keep those bug bites away. And by the way, if you don't have a dryer at home, you can simply rub a dryer sheet on your clothes. Next hack, save yourself the pain of expensive swimsuit shopping this season by revamping your bikini. A nifty way to refashion an ordinary bikini and bring it to life is by adding fringe to it. It'll make it more stylish and trendy, plus fringe is really beachy looking. So I purchased this fringe trim from a fabric store for $3. You're just gonna sew the trim onto the front top of the bikini. But if sewing is not your thing, you could totally use waterproof fabric glue to attach it. It's much easier. So yeah, this is how it turned out after it's been completely sewed on. So much better. I love how it looks with the fringe and it looks super cool the way, the way it moves. I don't know. It's like my favorite part. It just looks really cool. So yeah guys, super cheap way to revamp your old bikinis this summer. So next hack is a way to hide your valuables while you're at the beach. A simple way to secure your stuff is to store them in a diaper wipe case because most people don't look into sanitary napkins so this is a perfect place to hide your phone, your cash, or your jewelry and make sure that when you're finished to safely tuck it away in the midst of your bag. Next hack is a way to keep cool while you're under the hot beaming sun by making a cooling spray. So you will need one part distilled water, 
one part witch hazel, and then add a few drops of peppermint oil. Mix it up well and that's it. Just pour it into a mini spray bottle for convenience and it's ready to go. So yeah, just whip up a quick batch of this three ingredient DIY peppermint cooling spray. It'll keep you cool and refreshed, helping you face the heat and the humidity of the summer. So next hack is a way to make ice packs from kitchen sponges. So all you need to do is take a standard kitchen sponge, soak it in water and put it inside a Ziploc bag and freeze it. And when it's frozen, you have an ice pack. The handy thing is that when the ice starts to melt, the sponge soaks up the water so it doesn't leak anywhere. Simple but genius. Next is a way to keep your drinks and snacks cold and dry with frozen water balloons. Not only is this bright and pretty, but it saves your snacks and your cooler from getting wet as the ice melts because no one likes a water filled cooler. And best part is that once the balloons unfreeze, you can have a water balloon fight. And last hack is a way to turn your collected seashells into beautiful decorative DIY candles for your room. So you will need several tea light candles. You're gonna melt them and after they've been melted, carefully grab the wick and make sure you do not burn yourself here. Then stand up each of the wicks into the deepest part of the shells and make sure the wicks are standing up straight and not bent over. Carefully pour your melted wax into each shell let the wax cool and set, and once that's done, you're ready to light your candles. I love this because it's a cool way to display your shell collection, and it adds a beachy-inspired touch to your room. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Also, I have a playlist right here where the arrow is pointing to, full of other really fun hack videos you guys will for sure enjoy, so feel free to watch those. So yeah guys, that was all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know which hack was your favorite and which hack do you see yourself like using? My hack, my favorite hack has to be the s'more station because um, it has to do with food and because I love food and just um, um, yeah. By the way, I just wanted to give a shout out to my top three commentators if that's an actual word. I hope it is. Go on ahead and leave your comments below whether it's a video request, video suggestion, or whatever it is because I will shout you out in my next video. So again guys, thank you so much much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Oh my god! Ew! My hair looks very special today so please please don't mind the bad hair day okay because uh, just excuse it. Okay okay bye.